नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर के के अग्रवाल प्रेसिडेंट हार्ट केयर फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ग्रुप एडिटर इन चीफ मेट टॉक्स वेलकम टू आर वीकली वेबकास्ट द सब्जेक्ट वी हैव चोजन टुडे इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू द कंट्री एंड दैट इज द डोज ऑफ रेडिएशन न्यू टर्मिनोलॉजीज हैव कम वी टॉक अबाउट क्यूमुलेटिव डोज ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड वी टॉक अबाउट सिंगल डोज ऑफ रेडिएशन विद दैट in india specifically where the population density is very high the radiations of the atmosphere which in the us we talk about 3 to 4 millisiever may be higher in india because our uh, population density is very high there are labs radiology labs in every colony even in residential areas you will find x ray labs so the background radiation in india may be more we don't have a study in india to compare with the western world over and above people say that doctors over investigate we follow that x ray needs to be done every year though there are recommendations that in an executive checkup x ray is not required we know the tv program that we have to rely on sputum afb and not on x ray but x ray becomes a routine here and now ct scan ct scan is now like a fashion every patient going for a ct scan abdominal pain go for ct headache go for ct we talk about tb go for ct everywhere ct scans are being done and that too repeatedly and with that new investigations comes is new recommendation comes is do ct in every case of a smoker if he is smoking more than 10 cigarettes a year for more than 10 years now we are concerned because over the last few years over the last two decades in fact we are seeing large number of cases of every type of a cancer is this cancer related to somehow to this radiation is this radiation linked to the mobile radiation here we we know all over the world we have the maximum number of mobile towers mobile phones and everything is radiation a concern and today we are talking about low radiation ct cumulative uh, radiations that means every time you do an x ray or a ct scan ask the radiology to tell how many how many minisieverts of radiation has been exposed to me so that i know my lifetime uh, radiation dose and for understanding this as a concept i have with me dr manish gupta who is a, a radiologist in canada and uh, uh, before i talk to him tell us something about you what did you do in your radiology practice and what were the type of practices in canada so so this I, is radiation <laughs> exposure <laughs> hi i'm dr manish gupta i did my training in uh, toronto my medical school and my residency i'm currently a practicing radiologist uh, in four community hospitals in the toronto area including scarborough hospital rouge valley hospital and lake ridge health uh, the hospitals are affiliated with the university of toronto in terms of your practice what type of a patients uh, you see in terms of when we talk about the imaging so in my practice i am the actually the ct division lead for the hospitals i work at and we have a general community practice so we see patients of all age from from children to adults to the elderly and we do scanning for all sorts of indications uh we do screening studies and we do studies uh for inpatients we do regular checkups and we do emergency patients so i have few specific questions when i talk about spiral ct 60 and we said we talk about 16 slides 32 slides 64 then 128 then 256 the people are talking about 512 right more the slides what about the radiation radiations are less more or the same uh ready so the the number of slices on the ct has to do with basically the newness of the the scan uh, it doesn't really have a huge effect on the radiation generally though uh newer uh cts with higher slices will be newer and they'll be associated with other technologies that might actually reduce the radiation dose so because your time period will be less number of scans will be higher per second and that's uh, the scan period may be smaller so the radiation dose may be even slower uh it doesn't necessarily work like that um because it, with the so smaller size ct scan you're also scanning a smaller area at the same time so the total scan will be more or less the same the thing with the higher slice ct scans is 
they're usually newer and they have more optimizations associated with them, hardware and software, to reduce. The newer the CT scan uh, machinery is, usually the more optimizations there is to reduce the dose. And uh, what about, what, what do I do, to, what is low CT, do, low radiation dose protocols? So there's multiple parameters that can be set on the CT machine by the technologists who are doing the scans that affect the total dose that is uh, administered to the patient. Um, and those parameters are, they're set on the machine and they're displayed afterwards. So the main things that uh, affect the amount of dose given to the patient are the uh, MAS, so milliampers, milliampers, uh, MA milliampers seconds, yes. and the KV. So one is measuring the quantity of X-ray beams, uh, which is the MA and the MAS, and one is measuring the quality of the X-ray beams. Uh, so what wavelengths are being measured, and that's the KV. Both of them have dramatic effects on the total dose given. The MA is directly proportional, and the KV is, uh, it's a bit of a complex formula, but it's sort of proportional as well. So is low protocol, low radiation protocol a routine or I need to write down, kindly do a low radiation protocol? So that, dep <laughs> that depends on the indication. It depends on the radiologists in charge of the departments and what type of uh, departmental protocols they have. So for instance, in Canada, uh, when low radiation dose can specifically be used in indications where there's high contrast between what you're looking for. So two common examples are lung nodules and renal stones. Lung nodules, you're looking for something that's dark on a black background, so that's easy to see whether you're using high dose or low dose. Uh, another example is renal stones. You're looking for something that's really bright on a dark background. So whether you use high dose or low dose, you're still going to see the pathology you're looking for. So those are two common examples where it doesn't matter what the ordering physician writes, if the departmental protocol is set up correctly, they will, they will protocol the study with a low dose protocol. And so a low dose protocol means the technologist knows to put a very low MA or effective MA when they're doing the study to, to significantly decrease the dose compared to a regular abdomen study or a regular chest study. So the message is that uh Say for example, when you have a case with acute appendicitis, and if you want to do CT as a routine, we know that ultrasound is sufficient in appendicitis, but CT is more diagnostic, specifically when you're looking for a perforation or you're looking for a phlegmon. And in that particular situation, if you want to do a low dose, then you need to tell a protocol needs to be used. The, the center may not be that equipped. The center may not have that protocol, specifically in India, where it's a new terminology, new concept. So as a doctor or as a patient, whosoever is listening to this program, we need to understand that we can reduce the cumulative dose of radiation for each CT scan. So therefore, don't CT scan is not a executive health checkup that do my CT scan every year. Even for smokers, we say that it has to be a low dose protocol. So cumulative dose of CT scan, cumulative dose of X-rays are very, very, very important in India because the background radiations are very high, because number of times you are being exposed to a CT or an image, imaging may be very high. And we don't know that is, can this be a contributing factor towards development of a cancer, which we are seeing, seeing in an increasing day. So next time when you go for a CT or an imaging X-ray, ask your doctor, is it necessary? If not, avoid it. And if it is necessary, can I go for a low dose, uh, low radiation protocol? And if that is available, choose that lab, prefer that lab, and go for that. Let's thank uh, Dr. Manish to be here with us and on an important subject of uh, dose of radiation in imaging. And that's all for today. We'll come back with one more show till that. Goodbye. Thank you.